Hello folks, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will do another example of the scanner class and in this example, we will ask the user to type his name and address. So let's take do an example. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and create a new class and the name of the class is scanner user input. That's the name of the class and it will have a main method because that's how the Java is going to start the program. So we'll create an object of the scanner class is equals to new of scanner system dot of in. This is one, this is a line that you have to always use whenever you're talking about getting the input from the user. So since this has been provided to you by the package java.util, I'm going to go ahead and import that package. And here I'll ask the user to enter the name. So I wanted to store that name into a variable. So let's say the name I have is in this particular variable called name. I also wanted to store his age. So because an age is a number, so I'll go ahead and use a integer data type to store the age. So these are the two values that I wanted to go ahead and get from the user. So first question that I'll ask the user is to enter your name. And whatever the user is going to enter, I'm going to put store that value into this name variable. So s dot of next. Because whatever the keyboard, whatever you enter to the keyboard is taken as a string. So you are using a string type or string variable to store that value. Similarly, I wanted to go ahead and get the age of the user. So enter your age. And this age I will want to store into another variable which is of integer type because age will be a number. So since it gets, since whatever you pass to the keyboard is a string, we need to convert this string into a number. So there is a method already available that is called next int. So once you do that, you got these two name and age. So let's say I want to do this play now. So I'll say sys out. This is a shortcut to print the whole line. The name of the user. You can display the name here plus age of the user plus the age. So now let's go ahead and run the program. So I'll do I'll explain you what I did. I created an object to the scanner class because we wanted to get an input from the keyboard. Now the input that we're getting from the keyboard, I wanted to go ahead and store into the variables name and age. So I've created these two variables. The name variable is to store the name of the user and age variable is used to store the age of the user. So I've stored these two variables, values in these two variables. And now let's say run the program. So we'll go here, right, run as Java application. So it's asking you to enter the name. So let's say my name is Tepeka. So it asks me about the age. So let's say my age is 30. So now we have to enter hit the enter key. Once you do that, you're going to get the name of the user is Tepeka, the age of the user is 30. Now here, if I go ahead and run the program one more time with different set of values, enter your name, John, age 39. So now it's going to be the name of the user, John, and the age of the user, 39. So I always request you to go ahead and do the same example. And um, if you have any questions, you can always write me in the discussion board. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next tutorial.